Okay, guys, okay, okay. Okay, One Piece chapter 731. Now, I don't normally do these type of review type videos. This isn't going to be a review. This is going to be a reaction my thoughts video. If you haven't read One Piece chapter 731, do yourself a really big favor. Click the pause button, exit out of the tab or exit out of the window. Do not watch this video if you have not read chapter 731. Oh, my God. Oh my god. You'll you'll do yourself a really big favor by not being spoiled by this chapter. Do not be spoiled by this chapter, people. Oh my god, this chapter. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to do the video. Five, four, three, one. Okay. Oh my fucking god, he's alive! He's alive! Oh my god, he's alive! I know he's alive! He's alive! Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck! This chapter was fucking amazing. Oh my god. One word, people. Sabo. Sabo, Sabo, Sabo. We, anyone who actually pays attention to One Piece or what Oda does in One Piece would know that Sabo was alive. I mean, we saw Dragon taking care of someone with horrible injuries near um, the Gold Kingdom at the end of uh, the Luffy A Sabo flashback. And it was pretty obvious at that point that Sabo was alive. At least to most people, it was pretty obvious he was alive. We just needed you know, confirmation, like, shit, but what makes this chapter so fucking great is not that we know he's alive, it's the way he came in, it's the way he came in, that motherfucker, I'm like, oh, shit, it's the way he came in, I was really like, who, who the fuck are you, like, so I was like, push him out the way, like, I'm like, and then he goes to Luffy, you see Luffy say, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy, and Luffy face, he's like, he pulled in. He pulled a fucking Anel face. He pulled a fucking Anel face. And I was like, "Oh shit, who who is that?" I was, I was stumped. I was like, "Okay, who, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that?" I was go, I was racking through my brain like, "Who who could that be?" And then the next page, we see Koala. I'm like, "Holy shit, Koala! She's grown up." So I thought, "Okay, Koala, it must be Jimbe. Is, is it Jimbe? All right, it, it can't be Jimbe, can it?" Then we get to the page where Luffy's running in that stupid, stupid ass fish costume, and he's crying still. I'm like, what's going on? Who is it? Then we get to the last page. He's like, I didn't know he was still alive. And I was like, oh shit! Oh shit! He got to the, we got to the last page, and then it finally hit me like a rock. I was like, oh my god! Oh, the, oh my god! I was fanboying right now because Big Mom, last week's chapter, Big Mom came out of left field. No one saw her coming. And no one saw Sabo coming in this arc. Now, I knew Sabo was alive. I knew he was going to reappear, but I did not expect this motherfucker to show up in this fucking arc. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I'm 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 still dumbfounded right now. This shit is ridiculous. Oh my oh god. Oh we didn't see his face or anything, we just saw his back. Cause I was like, there must be a page missing right now. I need to see his face. Why Oda why would you cock tease me like that? Now apparently there's one chapter left on One Piece for the rest of this year before we get that long ass break period. And so we're definitely, most definitely going to get Sabo's reveal, like full reveal next chapter. Hopefully, hopefully Oda can't just cock pieces on this right now. But damn, the way Sabo just came in, this was, I know people were flabbergasted, you know, last week's chapter, what I thought was great. But this right here, in my personal opinion, is the best chapter of One Piece out of the entire fucking year. Because there was so much payoff. Like, there was so much payoff. All the people who said Sabo's definitely alive, all the people who knew he was alive and were waiting for him to come back, he came in here now. Now, he still needs to explain why he didn't show up at Marineford. When Ace, about, when Ace was about to get executed, maybe he couldn't, maybe he wouldn't have been able to change anything because, you know, they had the admirals, they had fucking 
Garb, sitting Goku, all the fights. I don't think he probably wouldn't have. He probably would have changed anything. He probably would have just been in the way. So it's like, oh fuck, man. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry to all you Naruto and Bleach fans, but these last two chapters of One Piece just shit it on the last fifty chapters of Naruto and Bleach. Well, I don't know about Bleach because I stopped reading Bleach years ago, but I definitely know for a fact that these last two chapters took a giant shit, like a giant log, fucking gorilla elephant shit all over the last few chapters of Naruto. I know people are like, but Mar Madara, fuck Madara. Fuck Madara. He hasn't done anything amazing. Fuck Madara. These last two chapters of One Piece took a giant shit right now, and I'm not afraid to say it right now. Oda is hands down the greatest shonen manga writer right now. Togashi, much love to you, man. Much love to you, my brother. But you haven't been bringing out content in almost two years right now, man. Like, you pretty much stopped caring right now. And it's really sad, really. It's really sad. But Oda right now, he's on the throne as the greatest shonen writer right now of his generation. And I don't see anyone toppling him right now. Not fucking, um, what's the name of the guy who writes Attack of Time? Uh, Hisami, someone, not that motherfucker, nope. Nope, 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 nope. This chapter was fucking amazing right now. And I don't know how it's gonna live I don't know how next week's chapter is gonna live up to this hype right now. Unless unless he brings in fucking Shanks. Oh no. No, 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 no. He's not gonna bring in Shanks. It's too crazy right now. Unless drag Oh wait. Koala is a member of the revolutionaries. We saw that in her older box. Which means Sabo, by affiliation, must also be in a revolutionary, of course. Which means what the fuck? If Dragon, oh no, Dragon, oh Dragon, no, 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 it's too crazy right now. It's too crazy right now. We got Do Flamingo, Fuji Tor, Big Mom. It's too crazy right now. Okay, I'm done. This is my quick reactions right there. Amazing chapter, best chapter of One Piece out of the entire fucking year, but best chapter period of the entire fucking year. Oh my god, I know I'm fanboying, but fuck it. I don't care if you guys hate me, you know, the must think I'm over fanboy and fuck you. This is an amazing chapter. Fuck it. Oh my god. <laughs> Took a giant shit over Naruto and Bleach, man. Like, fuck. <laughs> no. Uh, oh my god. Man. I mean, I'm not really hating on Naruto, but his last, this entire arc has been terrible. It's, it's, it has, it has, it has. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. His entire arc has been terrible. But fuck, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Mm. Thank God I did not read spoilers. I almost read the spoilers. I almost read the spoilers. I almost read the Manga Panda translation, but I was like, fuck it. Fuck it. I want to get a higher quality translation, so I waited until Manga Stream came out. So, yeah, I'm done, guys. So, keep on keep it on. Comment, rate, subscribe. And oh my God, Goda, I love you, man. You are amazing. <laughs> I meant Oda, alright? Not that much of a fanboy. Fuck it. Goda. 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 Chee. <laughs>